Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I have a 50 unexpected. I was looking because I was like, do I have this on live? Um, but no, I have it on record only. Ooh. Um, anyhow, 50 unexpected bolos. Uh, this is a part of my series. This is part nine. Nine. Can you believe it? I have nine already. All right, so we're just going to dig in and get started. These are items to be on the lookout for, items that you can pick up like at garage sales, thrift stores, um, estate sales, different places. Some of them are more common than others, but nonetheless, items to be on the lookout for, for resellers to, I always say, buy low and sell high. So don't overpay, always look up comps and happy hunting, right? All right, let's get started. Uh, here we go. All right, so the first item we're gonna talk about, not really talk about, but I'm gonna show you, is this Vintage GM General Motors Parts Division Auto Wax Can. It's a tin can. Um, I'm not really certain if it actually has wax in it or not. Uh, it does not say up here. Let's see. Has light wear. Retains original contents. So I don't know if that is important to the person buying it or not. But this sold for $131.03 with 136 bids, you guys. That's crazy. All right, let me check something here. Go back over. Yep, all right. The next item is this signed vintage original photo, Frank Hayes. I don't know who that is, but um, it says Keystone Cop. But here it is, and it's got this writing, and his eyes are not even open. It's kind of a funny picture. Um, he looks like he's asleep. But anyhow, this had 111 bids and sold for $533. And I'm just so curious as to, like, who is this guy? Um, I mean, it doesn't say anything down here. It says all items are original and not less otherwise stated. Um I mean, that's just really explaining how they describe the condition. Uh, Frank Hayes, Keystone Cop, silent film, inscribed in blue ink. Huh. So, yeah, I mean, it's from 1917. It's an 8x10 photo, but it really doesn't tell us who Frank Hayes is other than a cop. So I don't know why this went for $533. If anybody knows, comment below. Um, 111 bids. Let's look at the bid history. I'm just kind of curious how many people were bidding on this. So it only had two different people bidding. So it was a bidding war between two people. And they started the auction at $9.99. And the winning bidder had 295 feedback, but the person they were bidding against had 2,648. So it seems legit. Let's see, let me try something else. And I'm not gonna do this with every listing. Um, I was just kind of curious to see if maybe we could see where they paid. Um, Cause it went for like $500, right? I mean, look at all these photos, signed vintage original, and it's got all, oh, you know what? We can search by, so no feedback left. So I don't know if they actually paid for it or not. But if you look there, you can see, oops, that they're selling a lot of photographs for a lot of money. See original Walt Disney, 131, 212. I mean, this seller is really, really um, making some money on some of these photos. Some of them are bread and butter, but you know, let's see what else. And again, I'm not going to do this with each listing. I just, this one kind of had me interested. See, Sean Connery, um, we can go into this one. It sold for $251. Let's look what this is. So somehow, whoa, that's not even a good photo. Man, it's really blurry. So pretty cool. I don't know where this person gets their stuff, but pretty neat. Okay, the next item are these large Dawn and Friends lot of nine dolls with their outfits, shoes, and accessories. And here's what they look like. Uh, 
set, if you ask me. I mean, it's got the dolls, it's got the little mannequin things, some clothes, and the clothes look to be in really nice condition. I'm wondering if the seller would have parted this out, would they have made more? But this sold for $272 with 93 bids. The next item is this um, Ford Vintage Original Auto Parts OEM. Uh, it looks like a mirror. Like a, would it be a rear view mirror? Is that what those are called? So 91 bids on this, you guys, and it sold for $200 plus shipping. The next item is this rare vintage Dolmar CK chainsaw. So this thing's really old and probably a big pain to ship, but it looks like if um, it's in Virginia, and I think this is the shipping as if it were coming to my state, which is Ohio, pretty close to Virginia. And I mean, not super close, but not far. Um, it's not like Ohio to California, I guess I should say. But uh, this sold for $750 with 87 bids. And if I would have bought it, I think I would have had to have paid $130 shipping. So you're looking at about a $1,000 chainsaw. Pretty crazy. The next item is this vintage yellow tulip etched frosted Pyrex square baking dish. I like to pull up Pyrex when I see it because I know there's a lot of people that look for Pyrex and some of it's not worth much. I have a video on Pyrex if you guys want to check that out. But um, this one sold for $195. So this would be a piece that you'd want to look for. It had 86 bids. And there's the bottom. The next item is this salt and pepper shaker. Um, they're the cartoons and it says Schmo. I don't know what Schmo is, but this is what they look like. Let me see if I can, what it says on the bottom here. NFS, I think. Um, not really sure. But yeah, there's, looks like a little graduation hat maybe. But yeah, 83 bids on this sold for $161.11. That is crazy. The next item is this vintage Milwaukee Bucks starter jacket. Um, it's got that satin look to it. It seems like the satin vintage starter jackets usually do well and have a pretty good following. So definitely look up comps on those if you see them. This one sold for $167.50 with 83 bids. The next item is another satin um, jacket. This one is uh, 49ers. And it is not a starter. It is a chalk line. But again, it has that same satin vintage look to it. This one sold for $455 with 82 bids. The next item is this rare vintage MB, which stands for Marcel Boucher rhinestone enamel dragonfly pen and it says as is so i i'm trying to figure this one out because it went for 305 dollars i'm not sure what they're circling there is that damage um this is what it says on the back patent pending so is for the jewelry people watching is it because it's a dragonfly or is this marcel boucher like a really uh, famous or sought after designer. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. Pretty interesting, right? Uh, let's see, I wanna see what the damage is. The pin is missing the bottom part of the dragonfly's tail. So I don't really see that in the picture. Where was that? So I don't know what it's supposed to look like. But anyway, this went for $305 with 82 bids and seven unique bidders, guys. So it wasn't like it was one or two people bidding. They started the auction at $20. So I bet that seller was really happy. The next item is this set of vintage Hasbro Peanuts Snoopy Woodstock Mini Diecast Wagons. How cute are those? Um, I would never have expected that this item would go for $320. So I am definitely going to be on the lookout for this. And I'm glad I saw this listing because I probably would have bought this, but if I would have saw it and it had like $10 on it, I probably wouldn't have. So now I will know if I see it. 82 bids. The next item is, this is amazing. So this is the Herbert Hosmer 
Jr. Estate Vintage Paper Doll Nister's Circus. Look at this. It's paper dolls, you guys. And they're in really, really nice condition. Um, paper dolls can definitely, definitely be a bolo. You guys, this sold for $3,229. How crazy is that? It says 80 bids. I just want to go in and see. There were six different people bidding on this item. They started the auction at $19.99. I wonder if they had any idea. Oops, it disappeared. All right, the next item is this vintage 1970s Aurora AFX 1955 Chevy hot rod, hot rod scale slot car. And it says no reserve. So this guy sold for $202.50 with 80 bids. Slot cars in general, you know, just be on the lookout for them. Here's what the bottom looks like. I'm going to try and zoom in for you. Um, always look up slot cars. Some of them can go for really big money. The next item is this vintage Valentine girl posting a letter in a mailbox, and it is a planter. It's very, very cute. It sold for $172.50. It did sell right before Valentine's Day, so I'm sure that that helped. Here's what it says on the bottom, and it had 78 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Roy Rogers Dale Evans lunchbox thermos. This is just the thermos, and you can see here what it looks like. Looks to be in pretty good condition, actually really good condition. It sold for $427.99, 78 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this men, mans not men's, man's, man's fragrance, vintage Jean Patu pour. I don't know, home, home. <laughs> I don't know. It's some sort of splash. It's four ounce splash. It's 90% full. And this sold for $347 and 89 cents, 77 bids plus shipping. And you do have to ship, um, perfume and cologne ground. The next item is this Thundercats Stinger from 1985. It's 99% complete. This sold for $379 with 76 bids plus shipping. The next item is this Rare Vintage Howdy Doody Puppets. And it's a theater set. And you can see here, it's got the little um, place where you put the puppets behind it. And then you got all the little puppets. So really, really cute. Sold for $228.50 with 75 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this gorgeous country farmhouse vintage double wedding ring butter midnight old quilt. So from what I understand, all of these quilts have patterns and the patterns have names. So if you see a pattern, I'm not sure how to look up quilt patterns, but it probably is not too hard. But this one sold for $152.50 and 75 bids, buyer plate shipping. The next item are these vintage Tandy leather craft tool stamps. 150 plus stamps, two alphabet set stamps. Sold for $485. And the buyer paid shipping. So anything that you see that is leather stamps or leather making like tools. $485, you guys, this sold for. So definitely be on the lookout. That looks like a really nice set. The next item is this vintage antique 1800s morning pin brooch gold filled lady hair Victorian cameo. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I never would have looked at that and thought that that was going to be a huge money item. I probably would have bought it just because it's different and it looks very old. But this sold for $510 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Depression Era Vintage Buddy Lee doll. And they've got his clothes off in this one. And you can see his, you know, his paint's still in pretty good shape considering. And he's got his little overalls. This guy sold for $575, 73 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Red Wings hat. It's a snapback hat. It's a trucker style. It sold for $123.50 with 72 bids. Here's 
my foam still looks to be in decent shape. Sometimes that foam deteriorates. Still buy it if it's um, got a good patch because people will buy them and fix them up, restore them. The next item is this Boglins Vlob toy. It's a hand puppet in a box. There he is. You can see him down there. It's kind of hard to see. He's just like hanging out inside this box. And it's a Mad Balls um, item. And this sold for $152.50. It is from 1987. So it is vintage. The next item is this Corning Ware. And, you know, Corning Ware is very hit and miss. I feel like my grandma had this set. Hmm, that's interesting. I would not have thought that this would be a big money set. Sold for $202.50. The buy or I'm sorry, the seller did pay the shipping. Definitely look up Corning Ware, but this had 14 unique bidders. So that one's pretty interesting to me. So if you see Corning Ware, make sure you look up the pattern. These are super cute. They're two vintage 2001 Fiesta Ware Shamrock Cups. So Fiesta Ware has a following. Some goes for more than others. This one's kind of a, you know, it's got that special shamrock look to it. But here's what the bottom says. That's what you're looking for. So if you see them, look them up. This one had 72 bids. It sold for $100 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this vintage CSE inventory calculator. It's a computer system engineering is, is in the title. I don't know what all that means. They just looks like they wrote what was on the um, actual label here, the sticker. And it sold for $122 with 71 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this cute little doll size Whiting and Davis mesh purse. This sold for $150.99 with 71 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And it looks like right here is a little tag telling you the brand, which makes it really easy. So, you know, like a wristlet or they're calling it a, a doll size purse. The next item is these glasses, vintage eyeglasses. These are octagon shaped with the case. These sold for $237.50 plus shipping. Um, I love picking up glasses like this. I've done well with some. Never, I've never sold any, I don't think, for over $100, but I have done well. I usually pick them up at garage sales or estate sales. So one of my items that I definitely am on the lookout for. This vintage Filson uh, wool jacket made in the USA sold for $320. You guys definitely be on the lookout for Filson, this brand. If you see it and you can get it for the right price, definitely do that. This one appears to be vintage and it went for $320 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage lot of pirates. They're mini Lego figures. Look how many there are. That is a lot of pirates. So yeah, um, $373 this went for with 70 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage old Vaseline uranium glass piano. Um, I did share this one in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you guys are not in that group, definitely join it. I drop links to active auctions so that we can all watch them together and learn about different Bolo items. This one sold for $391, 70 bids in the buyer paid shipping. This vintage Motorola, Motorola brick cell phone. I think I also shared this one in my Facebook group. This sold for $7,500 with 69 bids. Um, let me see how many unique bidders. 10 different people were bidding on this item and they started it at $14.99. The next item is this Polly Pocket lot. I share about Polly Pocket all the time. These are still going strong. Uh, this lot sold for $355 and the buyer paid shipping, which the shipping looks really low. Um, but sometimes people do that. They'll put like a, a lower shipping price to just get like re recoup some of the money. And then they cover the rest. The only way that could possibly get you into like a situation is if you uh, Put the weight less than it is and it goes like global shipping or something like that. 
So the next item is Pokemon. These are PV PVC figures. Original Nintendo Pikachu lot. This sold for $237.50 with 68 bids. The next item is this vintage sterling silver spoon set. And I shouldn't say set. There's two vintage sterling silver spoons. People buy these to make jewelry or to complete their set. But uh, this sold for $90.30 with 68 bids and the buyer paid shipping. I'm not sure the weight on this or what scrap is. So, um, okay, so it's, is it 136, 136 grams? So I don't know what, like I said, what the actual uh, conversion is for weight to cost per gram or whatever. So I don't know if the seller did good or if the buyer did good on this one, but definitely be on the lookout for sterling silver silverware. The next item is this awesome magnetic dollhouse. It's a vintage child guidance, mid-century 1960s dollhouse. How cool is that? That is cool. I really like this one. It sold for $475 with 66 bids plus shipping. The next item is 180 skeins of vintage wool needle point. I think it's tapestry. Maybe it's tapestry. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's, it's yarn. It's yarn, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of fancy. This sold for $217 and 50 cents. Um, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage notepad. You guys, this one's crazy. So it's kind of got the, uh, picture. I don't know what you call that ingrained into the, the notepad. So I'm guessing the picture is on each page. This sold for $160.69. I don't know who Robert Conrad Ross Martin or Robert Conrad or Ross Martin are, but um, they must be famous or I don't know because $160 for that. That's crazy. The next item is this vintage lady head vase. I have done videos on the head vase. Uh, they are definitely highly collectible if you find the correct ones. This one sold for $367.99 plus the buyer paid shipping and it had 66 bids. The next item is this Iron Maiden, um, Maiden England 1989 back patch. I don't know what a back patch is. What's a back patch? Is that like a patch that just like goes on the back of a jacket or something? Anyway, it sold for $172.50 and the buyer paid shipping and it had 65 bids. The next item is this vintage old Sony WMR2 stereo Walkman cassette player. It sold for $184.50 with 65 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Always look up Sony Walkmans or any Walkman for that. Um, just look up comps. You'd be surprised what some of those go for. Vintage love letters from 1919 and 1920. They are antique handwritten. These sold for $100, 64 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Catalan Bakelite trophy base. You guys, it's 24 ounces. This is a trophy base. I'm not sure about this one why it went for so much. It went for $1,900, you guys. It says 64 bids. Um, 15 unique bidders. There are a lot of ones and zeros, but the winner had 149 feedback. Seller started that at $29.95. So I am not clear as to why this went for so much. I know that Bakelite is collectible, but $1,900? Nice marbled example of Catlin holes drilled in mount trophies. It weighs 24 ounces. I don't know. Pretty interesting. And they got a lot of feedback. I was going to see if we could look it up. Oh, you know what? Let's try this. I, I keep remembering that they have that new uh, where you can search feedback. I love it. There it is, you guys. Thank you. Good seller and fast shipping. $1,900 for that, you guys. But here's the thing. Look at this. Oh, this is a different one. So this bowling trophy only went for $29.95. 
So that is crazy. Crazy, crazy. The next item is this vintage Cutco eight-piece knife set, wall hanger, and case. Sold for $226 with 64 bids. Buyer paid shipping. The next item is Sterling Silver Whistle. It works. It's a charm. It's old. It sold for $142 with 63 bids. That is cute, cute, cute. I love it. That'd be like just a, an adorable necklace. The next item is these broken, damaged Japanese chef's kitchen knife, vintage Japan Hoko, H-O-C-H-O -H -O maybe. I'm not really sure. But these sold for $92 with 63 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And look at the condition, you guys. Horrible condition. I don't even know if you can fix those. The next item is this vintage 1976 McDonald's Zippo. There it is. Sold for $461, 62 bids. Zippos can be highly collectible. Definitely be on the lookout and look up, look up Zippos if you see them. These Hummels, I don't know much about Hummels. I feel like every time I see one and think it's a Hummel, it ends up being, um, what do you call it? like a knockoff, a fake, but see this, I'm look, that's why I'm trying to look at the markings here. I don't know what this is, but uh, it says Germany. Um, okay, so there's some of the markings you can be on the lookout for. Just be careful, because like I said, I've, I've seen things that look like them and they're not. The next item is this vintage Fun World Fearsome Faces Scream 2 Mask. These can go for big money. Um, there's different generations. And this one doesn't say the generation. So I'm surprised. Let me see if I can. Yeah, they didn't put. But it does say Scream 2. I don't know. But this one went for $245. Buyer paid shipping. 62 bids. All right, you guys. Let me get back to. There we go. Um, Okay, we're still counting down. Sorry, I accidentally closed the tab, so I'm not sure what that's going to look like. <laughs> but I'm back, and it's still counting down. So 50 unexpected bolos, you guys. What do you think? Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, the subscribe button is boop right there. The share button's somewhere over there also. So if you guys can share that out, that would be great. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you real soon.